Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and a lot of talk recently about a scam that was covered by a couple of the networks. I think the network's news watch each other and make sure that they're covering similar stories. But they covered the story of this phone scam that's been happening not just recently, but for at least five years that I know of. Uh, I've been reading about it, and I've been reading sort of the back and forth and the claims about it. It don't seem to make sense to me, but it's certainly something that I want to make you aware of and I want to show you how to avoid. It's called the Can You Hear Me scam. And here's how it works. It takes advantage of our desire to be helpful. It takes advantage of our natural response to somebody asking us a question and us wanting to be helpful. So the way it works is you get a phone call and the uh, first thing you do when you pick up the phone, hello, that hello triggers either a live operator to join the call or just a simple recording. And the first thing that that operator or the recording says is, uh, can you hear me? Now, your natural response at that point is to go, yes. And it's not likely that you would have a recorded uh, a phone message, outbound voicemail message that was like, hello, and then a long pause, and then yes. So that confirms for them that it's a live call. And what's been, you know, conjectured is that not only is that why they're calling to see if there's somebody live at the other end of the line, but that they're recording this and they can use that yes with systems that require your verbal approval to move through a sales process or to prove that when you get a fake bill from one of these companies, like you bought a, a product that they never sent you or whatever, but they have your yes, and they can say to the credit card company, oh no, they said yes, we've got it on a recording. So there has never been, as far as I know, and as far as sites like Snopes and others that, that track these things, there's never been an actually proven case of somebody receiving a bill based on the fact that they just said yes when somebody was recording them, and that's the, the proof that they offered. So what the call then continues to do is, uh, are you sure? Because I can't hear you very well. Can you hear me? They'll do it one more time. Now, at that point, when they have you saying yes twice, they'll probably just hang up. And the real reason they're doing it is not so they can use those recordings, if they even are recording them, to uh, claim that you purchased something or said yes to a purchase that you didn't pay for or that you paid for, you found it on your bill, and then you dispute it. All they're doing is the same thing that email spammers do when they send out a note that isn't trying to sell you something, isn't trying to uh, uh, get you to log into a site so they can get your credentials. They just want to know if there's a live person at the other end of the email connection. They just want to know in this case, is there a live person at the other end of this phone number? Or is it one of those Google voice numbers? Or is it a number for a business, right? It's to verify that your number is a good one for actual live calls, for other scammers that will call you directly. It's the exact same thing as the uh, confirmed email. This is the confirmed numbers, right? So what they'll do is they'll gather a whole list of these things together, the whole list of these numbers together, of people that have said, yes, yes, I can hear you, yes. And they will sell them at a premium to other robo-calling systems. That's what it's all about. It's not about using an IVR system to play back your yes so they can get into your account or things like that. It's just, it's not, first of all, none of those systems use actual voice recognition, voice pattern recognition. They, it could be anybody saying yes. If they say, would you like a service? and you say yes, it could be you saying yes, it could be anybody saying yes. So they don't need it for that. So if you ever read an article where somebody's saying, oh, be careful because they're going to record your voice and then use it like in those spy movies where they kill somebody, they chop their hand off, and then they use their thumb on a, on a thumb uh, uh, pad, on a pad, on a keypad, right? No, that's not what it's all about. Our instinct is to be helpful. But in this case, what you can do is, first of all, don't answer calls that the number is one that you don't recognize. Uh, that's an easy filter. Another filter is to train yourself when you hear the phrase, can you hear me, just hang up. 
if it's somebody that you know, they'll call back. If it's not somebody you know, the system has noted that you didn't say yes. And so it'll move on to the next system in the list of robocalls that it's making. I know you want to be helpful. I want to be helpful. Everybody wants to be helpful, right? But when you hear the phrase, can you hear me? Or are you there? Just hang up. There's no reason for that to be the first thing that somebody says. And when you make calls, you're, you're going to be the one that <laughs> identifies yourself, you know? They, they're, they should be identifying themselves. But if the first thing they say is, can you hear me? Or are you there? Uh, and then they follow it up with, are you sure you can hear me? Something isn't right. Just hang up. Don't play with them. Don't say, well, maybe. Is this a scam call? Don't do what you see people doing in YouTube videos where they answer the phone a particular way to have fun with scammers and recording it for the... Don't do that. Just don't do that. Just hang up. That's the way to handle that. I hope that helps. Any other scams that you know of that you've been getting recently? I'd love to know. I, I like collect scams like other people collect stamps or coins. I love investigating scams. It helps me understand the way the human mind works. It, helped me un it helps me understand emotional triggers. And it's fascinating to me. So in the comments below, if you're watching this video anywhere but on VO2Gogo.com, pop over to VO2Gogo.com. we got plenty of stuff there for you. All kinds of cool things. And that's where I'd love for you to put your comments. Let me know if, if you uh, have gotten one of these calls or what you've done or what you do. Um, I'd really love to know. I, I'm, I'm just fascinated by this whole thing. Um, we are just a few episodes away from the Ask Me Anything episode. So if you've got a question for me about anything regarding what I do for a living, what I teach, uh, these videos, anything, it's an AMA, an Ask Me Anything, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be calling all the comments of the first 99 episodes to see if there's any great questions there. And if you haven't left a, a, a comment, go ahead and send me. I've gotten some great emails from people already. Send me an email within the subject line. It should say AMA question. So ask me anything. AMA question. And it can be anything. I'll answer whatever you whatever you ask me. I'd be thrilled to do that. Uh, and that's coming up in uh, at episode 100 of these one a day videos. If you'd like to join my YouTube channel and be notified when these videos come out each day, Go ahead and click on my head there or a subscribe button somewhere on the page. You want to see the latest episode I put up? Click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I hope you can hear me. I will talk to you tomorrow.